Another factor that new groups may have to think about is um, the, um, the, again, the profiles of their investors. There are active investors and there are passive investors. And active investors like to roll up their sleeves and get involved with the company and serve as interim CEO, um, consult with the company, make contacts for them to help them be successful. And then there are passive investors who recognize the value of this asset class because uh, risk is correlated to return. So if you create a portfolio of early stage companies, uh, the benefit of that is hopefully that you'll achieve a, har um, an, uh, a higher than average uh, return on your investment portfolio overall. So uh, there will be groups that will be just want to uh, create a portfolio of companies and perhaps um, they will just uh, you know, invest along with the group or perhaps a fund model might be best to meet the needs of the passive investors. So that's another thing that I think might be something that early stage uh, groups, angel networks, want to consider is what's the percentage of our group that's active and what's the percentage of our group that's passive and should we have a fund or should we have um, an active angel pledge fund model? Which one is best serves our community needs?